Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Alderman Lee at the 11th Ward. It is Monday, May 20th. We are here for a community zoning meeting um, regarding the property located at 2511 to 2513 South Green Street. Um, oh, we have more people coming in. Hold on a second. That's fine. Come they can in. come on in. Oh. Hold on one second. Okay. As I said, this is a, a community zoning meeting regarding the property located at 2511 to 2513 South Green Street. This is not a zoning change request. This zoning change was granted a while back. However, because it was a type one zoning change and the, uh, the owner wants to change what they are building, they are obligated to share with us their new plans. So that is what we'll be doing today. We have with us uh, the um, the contractor, Rocky, uh, as well as the attorney, John Pekarski, um, on the phone with us or on the Zoom. I'm gonna hand it over to them um, to go ahead. And John, would you like me to pull up the schematics that yes, you sent please. over? Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Okay. You should be seeing my screen now. Okay, I, I, I'm i familiar with it. I have it in front of me. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, okay. Um, the, 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 the property in question is an irregularly shaped lot. Uh, it has about 10 different angles to it uh, and is surrounded by... Uh, three alleys, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the architect is Ron Very, uh, who's obviously very well known in the uh, 11th Ward and is competent. He's been a compatriot of mine for, oh God, 30 years at least. Um, and um, basically, what we are doing is we are doing the uh, uh, we're changing the type one part of the application and leaving the existing underlying zoning. The underlying zoning is B23. Uh, and uh, we uh, had the uh, originally uh, styled this as two buildings, um, one uh, a five flat and one a six flat. And uh, as uh, you and, and we know, building two buildings is very inefficient, uh, financially inefficient, because you have two separate foundations, you have uh, side yard problems, not problems, but side yards. You have uh, uh, walls that uh, are uh, two separate walls between the buildings. Uh, and it, it, it adds significant cost uh, to the construction uh, and uh, for no benefit. Um, I uh, know that uh, the client uh, has has retained, as I said, uh, Ron Very, uh, and he has uh, designed the building which uh, we have uh, presented uh, to you. Uh, it's four floors. Uh, the first floor. Uh, has uh, four, well, each floor has four, uh, four units, but the first floor has uh, a one bedroom unit and uh, the second through the first, fourth floor has a two bedroom, one bath unit. The uh, materials will be the, the same or comparable materials that we uh, promised in the original uh, uh, building. Uh, the uh, 
use, I think, is a much more efficient use of the subject site. Uh, and and uh, we are, are proposing uh, eight on-site parking spaces. And of course, as, as you know, this is uh, almost immediately adjacent to the uh, orange line. Uh, we envision this being um, uh, populated by people who will be you know, working downtown and, and uh, commuting to downtown. Um, not much more I can say. I'd love to spellbind you and uh, that sort of thing, but uh, basically this is it. Uh, um, now, uh, did you have any questions? So we did have one person join us in the room here. So just, I'm going to tell you what you missed, which wasn't a whole lot. Um, this is not a zoning change per se, but it's a type one because the original plan uh, was for two separate buildings with a total of, I think, 10 units, oh, 10 or 11 units. Yes, 11 that's right. Units. Now this plan, same zoning, uh, but one building with a total of 16 units, just like Mr. Pekarski said, a little bit more efficient. Um, because it is so close in proximity to the orange line and because of the city's ETOD, yeah, it's TOD. So it's uh, they're doing the half a space, half a parking space for every unit, eight parking places, correct. So that's what you see here, right over here. So it's on this weird lot. I'm assuming you know where the lot is anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so um, I think it's a, I, look, I, I appreciate that we're gonna get some more um, housing units, some more apartments in the ward uh, because it is um, ETOD and it's more than 10 units that will be subject to affordable, uh, to an affordability requirement. So 20% of the units. Uh, so that will be, we round up. So four you no, two, 20. 16 units, so, yeah, so four. Yeah, so they have they have to round up. Um, it's three or four, I don't know how they, they're gonna do it, but there will be affordable units that are going to be part of this development. Um, Matt or, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. I know I've talked to you so many times. Jim, nice to see you, Jim. Just so people know, I represent urban environmentalism. Great. He had one of the best ideas ever for me, which was to talk to the Secretary of State about making sure that people um, understand that people understand how to share the road with bicyclists and vice versa. That bicyclists also. It wasn't exactly. It was well, it was something like that. Fun. Yeah, help me with it later. But it was. I remember it being a pretty good idea. Um, anyway, uh, Matt, do you have any questions, or do you have any questions, Jim? I'll let Jim go first since he's in the room. No, no, no. He said he'd let you go first. Um, no uh, questions. Hold on one second, Matt. Say that one more time, Jim. No, not 2021. It was uh, it was just last year. Yeah, yeah. Sometime recently, yes. This is a, this is. Did we... Did he say why let's make a change? Rocky, do you want to give any uh, comment on why you decided uh, to go with a, a higher density building? Um, the owner would like to maximize the, the zoning. Uh, it's uh, the same zoning. It's allow more unit in the area. So it just being- They're just trying to maximize the zoning. Maximizing, yes. Which I think is a great idea in that like weird random corner right across the street from the orange line, I think is a, I like the fact that we're getting a few more units out of this personally. If I could make a comment. Yeah. From the standpoint of an environmentalist, we're very much in favor of high density uh, residential uses near LSTOT. Mm -hmm. um, it's very important for the future of the CTA and the future of our city. And we wish the gentleman could build 20 stories over there. Well, <laughs> He's got a he's got another development on the other side, on the other side of the expressway, which is probably, I don't know, it's probably thirty units over there. Right. So yes, right. yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, he agrees with you. This <laughs> is a good spot for density. It is a not, great spot for density. It is. Okay, great, Matt. Anything from you? Um, more just kind of I think sharing the comments that have already been made is that um, I think this is actually a real improvement over the previous plans just because of the 
the way that it was split between two buildings basically was skirting the ARO, had higher mm-hmm. costs for the developer. Um, and I think this being more of a focus on efficiency units right by the orange line is a really good use of um, pretty scarce land near our, our transit. So I'm really happy to see these changes uh, be made. And I think because of uh, all the units being you know one bedroom, there really isn't as much of a, a parking concern, uh, at least from my perspective, because it's likely going to be commuters. There. It, there are actually two bedrooms, I think. Yeah, the yeah. only there's one one bedroom uh, on the first floor. The rest are okay. uh, two bedrooms. Yeah. Either way, I think it, I think it's a it's an improvement and a step in the right direction. It's really hard to get Todd's uh, near the orange line just because mm-hmm. of the weird lot spaces and everything like that. So um, on top of this, this is taking a, a manufacturing zoning parcel off the books or that already was done in the initial adjustment. So um, good to see that they're using the unused zoning capacity. I think this is all a step in the right direction. Very supportive for me. Great. Um, The only question that I have, and I'm sorry I didn't ask this previously, is, is there any space for a bike rack or a bike room? in here Hmm. i know you're building yeah we will certainly uh uh work with the architect to to uh introduce that into the uh, program Uh, just because it is the parking space and then the trash enclosure that's some space over there we can uh Utilize for a buy rack over there, or even in this sort of like yeah, in between too. exactly. Yeah. So those are would, yeah. Yes. Yep. I'm pretty sure we can put the buy racks in there. Yeah, if you can find a place to put a bike rack, I think that would be an appropriate yeah. thing to have. It makes sense, especially in this TOD. Yeah. Obviously, people can take their bikes into their units too, and you know store right, them right, there. Right. But you know, if there's an exactly. outdoor place to put them, uh, probably not a bad idea. Okay. Um, well, if there aren't any other questions on the Zoom or in the room, um, we can wrap this up uh, with the exception of, I, I would just like to see a bike rack someplace um, to be able to park bicycles. Um, I'm uh, I'm inclined to uh, approve this change from the type one uh, with the increased number of units from 11 to 16 under this new plan for a single building. So um, we'll go ahead and prepare a support letter for you, Mr. Pekarski so that you can have that um, and that can get filed. And then um, Rocky, when you all are ready to break ground, we'll be excited about this. Yes, definitely. Are you gonna try to get this started? Are you gonna try to get this started this year? Mm, Most likely probably next year. We still need to go through the the city. Yeah, the buildings department, they have to review everything. Okay. Well, we'll be keeping an eye out for it. All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you very much. Everyone have a good evening and a, a good holiday coming up. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you, you do the same. Have Bye. fun at all your graduations, Mr. Picard. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks very much. Take care, everybody. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.